Hey guys, Peter from LostAngle.com and today we're going to be tying the shrimp neutralizer. It's a combination of foam, bead chain, uh, shrimp imitation. So you know, the bead chain wants to pull it down, the foam wants to bring it up, and yeah, it's a nice neutral buoyancy, hence the name neutralizer. We're going to add a few extra steps you don't normally see if you look at the step-by-step -step tutorials that you can find online. Those are easy to do and a lot of fun, but we decided to add our own spice to it. You'll be able to find these online on eBay and Lost Angler pretty soon. So stick around and let's get it tied up. Okay guys, today we're going to be tying the shrimp neutralizer. And we're going to start out with a size 1 Billy Paid Eagle Claw hook. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a full thread length wrap. Then we're going to go back up to the front real fast. And we're going to tie on B chain eyes. Alright, tying the bead chain eyes, we're going to flip this over. And we're going to go ahead and add this. We're going to figure eight it on there. Yep. Leaving just a little bit of room off the eye. Tie off the rest of it once all said and done. Come back around. Alright, now that's on there, what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with a little bit of Sally Hansen's. Just a skosh. Alright, now this next step is optional. What we're going to do is we're going to add a small wrap. Up. This is a uh, 8mm, excuse me, a 3mm micro rattle. Add it really close to this bead chain eyes. We're going to tie it on there with some large loose thread wraps. Keep it straight on the hook as we tighten up. Once it's all tightened up and on there, we're good to go. The next step. that's on there good. Make sure it's straight. Then we're going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit more polish. Clean up, clean up that excess real quick. Alright, good deal. Alright, now we're going to flip it back over. Alright, now that we got it upright, the first thing we're going to add once we get to the back of the fly, it's going to be a little bit of crystal flash. And we've got the crystal flash right here. It's mixed up with pearl and rainbow. And uh, I've done it so that I have two strands of each. So I take it and go ahead and double it over. And it's a good idea when you're tying any of this stuff on your initial ties just leave it long. Just remember you can always go back and trim it. Alright, that being on there, the next thing I'm going to add is some cactus chenille and gold. There we go. I don't need much. Just a couple quick wraps. Make sure you pull it forward. So that your wraps don't end up overwhelming each other. Good deal. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and trim that off. Boom. Alright, take that Estaz or Cactus Chenille. Pull it forward with the thread. Next thing we're going to add is going to be some silly leg. Double it over again. This is basically going to form the antenna to our shrimpy friend. And the next step 
is we're going to use just a little touch of Palmer Chanel. Turn your Palmer chenille so it's already facing the way you want to go. Once again, you're not going to need but a couple quick wraps. Coming forward. There we go. The trick with the Palmer chenille is when you're tying it on. Make sure that when you're doing it, you're always pulling it forward, or in our case, back. Pulling it back, pulling it back. Alright. Good deal. That's on there well. The next step. We're going to add real fast. It's going to be the addition of eyes. Now, with our eyes, we're going to go ahead and just use uh, the Lost Angler eyes. The Lost Angler eyes are made with uh, 50 pound monofilament and glass beads. So, this way, you know that when you're using them, you're never going to have a hiccup. Except for when you bump the camera. Alright, get them all lined up real well. Hold it. Pin it on down. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to make sure here we squeeze them together right here. That assures that they're in the same line. Alright, now that's done. Pull up the excess, and you want to have your more heavy duty scissor for this. Pull it up, trim it off, pull it up, trim it off, and have to be perfect. Nail it all down. All right, the next step on this is going to be to what I like to do is wrap the entire body in crystal flash excuse me not crystal flash but uh, flash boot and what that does is when we put the shrimp dubbing on later on and you've been fishing it for a while and say your specs or whatever that you're fishing for have gone ahead and done you the you know the beautiful favor of knocking half that stuff off you still have a good looking fly to mess with so bring it around bring it around bring it around You can skip this step if you want to, but I found that it certainly aids in the long term. Fishability. Especially on that rattle. Excess right there, beautiful. And the next thing we're going to go ahead and add is going to be a crustacean. This is shrimp dubbing, this is an EP fiber. So, if you're already a fan of Enrico Puglisi's materials, you're in luck. Uh, if you uh, don't have any, you can substitute out. Uh, uh, rabbit dubbing 
of uh, or any old dubbing will work especially if you go ahead and put down that under layer of a uh, flash boom we're gonna do with this one it's gonna be super loose you know, so I'm just kind of pulling it forward This is building that nice shrimpy look. That kind of out there-ness. We're going to turn it. Add a little more. And you can just put it on there and just pull. Just pull it out. Just like so. Keep bringing it over and around. And there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. This is this is a fairly messy process. Don't worry about it. it uh, it's not gonna be perfect. You don't really want it to be perfect to be honest with you. Alright. Try to get just a little bit extra. Extra on top. Okay. Perfect. Alright, now that we got our nice shrimpy look going, the next thing we're gonna add is a is a triangular piece of foam. And I'm gonna add it in so it's facing this way. You see I've got some right here to tie off. Go ahead and bring it up. Bring it over. It's not perfect, don't worry about it at all. You're going to trim it up. And this basically forms the top of the car face. Alright, we're going to take our shrimp dough again. This time, wet up your fingers some. A little bit of spit goes a long way. part much more tightly done clump now remember alright get it on there you can use dubbing wax on this and it does it'll help you out some so just go slow take your time and wrap go slow take your time and wrap you don't want this to be a super neat orderly thing in this stage you do want it to be a mess the kind of the messier the better it's not something we generally ever go for in fly time but this is a moment where we want it to be fairly messy so I take it that last go. There we are. Beautiful. Alright. I'm going to bring this forward a little bit. Now, if I'm going to add a weed guard to the front, I'll tie this on behind the eyes. If I'm not, I'll leave it. Tell you what, I was going to do it without a weed guard, but I'm going to do it with one. And I'll show you uh, after I break this thread. 
Alright, I'm gonna put it behind the eyes since I'm not doing weight guard, like I said. Or since I'm gonna add one for you. There you go. Let's trim this round off. There it is. Very nice. Trim a little bit there. So we've got a nice shrimpy looking profile. What I'm gonna add now is I'm gonna take some 50 pound test. And for the 50 pound test, it's the same kind we use to make uh, make the eyes. I'm just going to take just a little. Put it on there. And this is a situation where a little goes a long way. So, flipping it on over. Right behind the eye. And I'm going to tilt the camera just a second, guys. There we go. There we go. All right, so we're gonna slide it on, keep it in line. Go, 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 go. Nice tight, nice tight, nice tight. And this bead chain being mounted on the underside does a real good job of helping keep that line. Trim this so you're roughly looking at being flush. Go, go, go. Now for us down here in Mobile, we're very often we're not competing with, you know, vegetation as far as like turtle grass or whatever. What we're dealing with instead, you know, a lot of times is we don't want the hook to get caught on oyster beds. And I found this little piece of mono right here. We'll do that grandly without using up too much time. Alright, so this is the end of the fly right here, just about. Take it, trim it off. Alright. Boom, double half hitches. You can use a whip finish if you like. It's up to you. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Incidentally, the original pattern did not call for uh, rattles or any of that sort of stuff, but. I like it better. Alright, now we're going to grab our lighter, heat up our bodkin, then tape with just a second. There we are. That's how we're going to put through the eye. And you want to make sure you do this step right here of going through the eye with the bodkin before you put any head cement or glue. Otherwise, it will catch on fire. And I'm saying this because I've done, I know this from experience. Alright, let's go fly. Alright. Take it now. Just kind of trim this on down and around. Oh my goodness. And boom. There you have it, guys. I just sealed the deal. Shrimp neutralizer. Nice, fun, easy pattern. A lot of good stuff. You can take it back and trim it. Um, you can add a lateral line. Just a quick line right down the middle if you want to. I don't know that it helps. But just a simple straight line with a sharpie on that. I think it'll be fun. Maybe a couple random dots. And there you are. Shrimp neutralizer. That was a good rattle. Alright. Sweet. So real quick before you go, just kind of take your little bit of crystal flash and just kind of trim them unevenly. Up and down. 
like that. Take your silly leg antenna, trim them off evenly at the end. Boom, boom. Then you want to take your bodkin, pull out your first station dubbing. Boom. There you are. Full and complete fly. With a lot of different textures, colors, nice profile on the water. And a good little rattle. Fantastic for dock fishing. So, or just generally throwing it out there. You can do this in any number of colors you might like. And uh, we'll have a version available on eBay and the website for uh, you guys to buy. Alright. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out our eBay store if you haven't already done so. You can check out our Facebook page. Go ahead and hit some likes on that. Uh, stop by the website. We're going to be updating it pretty soon. So, either way, hope y'all have a great time. Uh, try it out. Give this thing a tie and uh, shoot underneath some lights. If you catch some good fish on it, feel free to post it on our Facebook page.